But anyway, we get home last night and um, adrenaline's going, pumping, you know, like, because we've been out all night. And I made the mistake of going on and looking at my TikTok and checking my YouTube and guys, not today, Satan, not today. Friends, take a look. Take a freaking look at the clowns. Weeks and a lot has been said about me, some of which is so far from my truth that I was, I was nervous that you were going to start believing those things that they were saying about me since it is so loud. Since I can't say his name anymore because you get demonetized off of YouTube and deplatformed if you do. So we'll refer to um, Dolly. So listen, Dolly. There is no your truth. There is no my truth. There is one truth. There is one fact. I know what I saw with my eyes. What I saw with my eyes is you refusing to take a stand and actually say that women being raped in prisons by anybody, trans or otherwise, was wrong. Simple PR move, babe. Free, free piece of PR advice to you. When someone asks you, how do you feel about women being raped? Period. Doesn't matter that it was raped by trans women, raped. When, when anyone says to you, how do you feel about women being raped? The answer is, it's awful, it's horrible, and it should never happen. Period, end quote. It's very simple. I don't know, I don't know who your PR people are, Dolly. I don't know, have no clue. They're bad, they're bad. You need to cancel that. You can't hire me because I would never work for you. You, you could, I mean, you, you couldn't afford me because there's no amount of money in the world. But that's common sense. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe you're on the low end of the IQ scale, I don't know. But like your PR people are horrible if they're, if they're not coaching you. Um, furthermore, I think you're probably just a little bit dim. So anyway. Um, moving on to the other clown that came up last night. Um, they're like, oh, we respect Leah as a woman, as a trans woman, whatever. We respect her identity. We just don't think it's fair. You can't really have that, that sort of half support where you're like, oh, I respect her as a woman here, but not here. They're using the guise uh, of feminism to sort of push transphobic uh, beliefs. Yeah, that, that's not going to work for you, sweetheart, because you are a man. You're a man who tried in swimming you tried babe you tried and you were 496th against men you grew your hair out you say you pop some pills not really sure that's happening with the five o'clock shadow and the beard i mean from what i've i've read and heard from other trans women when they actually take estrogen their hair growth stops around eight or nine months and things start expanding etc etc so anyway, but, you, but you've got all these sponsorships behind you. I'd think that you'd be able to afford some surgeries now to start like acclimating. But yeah, th look, 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 Wally We're, and, and Dolly. Wally and Dolly is not fitting for them. We're all on to you. We're on to you. It's all about the Benjamins. Again, not today, Satan. Not today. But Satan came came into my into my platform last night. So let me let me show you guys this clown. Jo we'll just call him Clown Jolly, okay? Clown Jolly. So I'm laying on this guy's bed. And of course, it's a mattress on the floor. So we finish, and I have fluids all over me. The dog comes in, and I shit you not, starts licking it up. Together? Day 61 of being a girl. Hi, I'm James, and this is a day in my life living with syphilis. They review my labs and tell me I'm going to get one penicillin shot because all STIs are either curable or manageable. I have neglected to give you an important update on my monkeypox vaccine side effects, and I'm here to rectify that wrong. I okay, there we go. See? You see that? You see what's going on right here? You see how this is just sliding right over my face? Ugh, it's too luby. I can't get it. I can't get it down. Oh, would you look at that? 
would you look at that? What do you see right here? What I see is a lot of men have been lying. The trick around like puberty blockers for trans kids is that if they really did care about making sure children weren't being mutilated or weren't being like coerced, they would be the number one advocates for puberty blockers. Not only because they're empirically supported and because they were developed for cisgender people, but because they would realize that forcing somebody to go through a puberty with a dominant hormone that is misaligned with your actual gender, that would be by their terms, mutilation. Yes, you are banned. You heard me correctly, you are banned. But Jolly, Jolly the Clown, who you just saw, who's showing children how to fist with condoms and how to get shots for syphilis and monkeypox and talking about having hookups and dogs licking fluids off him. He's not banned. Jolly's not de-banned. He's not banned. He's not demonetized. He's not deplatformed. He's just fine. He's fine. In fact, he's paid. He's, he's monetized. He's getting sponsorships. So the reason I wanted you to take a look at that is to know that these people are all intertwined, right? They're Because they're all making a ton of money and they've got sponsorships so, but not. So Dolly is promoting Jolly. And Jolly is sitting there telling children on a TikTok platform that um, he just got syphilis and monkey pox and he takes them, we well, saw in the video, he goes to the doctor's office to get a syphilis shot. And then he talks about how, um, he had a hookup and there were fluids all over him and dogs were licking him. And, um, and then he goes on to show children, um, cause this is all marketed towards teens. You see the stuffed animals on, on Jolly's bed. Um, and, um, and he's got stuff and whatever. And, um, and then he's showing them how to uh, put a condom on their fist so they can fist, like sexually fist. Um, and then he's walking on the streets of, it looks appears to be New York City, um, but some city, um, explaining to parents, lecturing parents and um, folks that are anti-transitioning for children about how we, and this, Jolly is not a doctor, he is not a parent, not a nurse, not a mental health therapist, Jolly is a dude, a biological man, who grew out his hair and apparently is proud of his STDs. That's about as close as I can get medically to his certifiable knowledge. So um, he's lecturing us on how we are hindering our children by not allowing them to take um, fertility, uh, uh, I'm sorry, take medications and hormone replacement therapy and gender affirming care that will affect our children. He's not a parent, so he has no idea what this is like, not a doctor, not a nurse, but talking about how we are harming our children by not allowing them to undergo these prescriptions that he's prescribing, that he's not qualified to prescribe, that we're harming them, and then platforming it so the children are starting to be thinking that their parents are harming them by not affirming them. So listen, you're clowns, you're clowns, and your time is about up. And I'm telling you guys this, and I've been a lifelong Democrat. If Republicans are smart, they will jump all over this platform. And Democrats, you're very stupid to let that happen. That's what I'm going to say. This stuff, because people do not like when you come for their children. And that is what these people are doing. And the far left wing is going all in. Republicans are jumping all over this. It's coming up everywhere, and they're smart to do that. Democrats, get your head straight. Get smart. Uh, you look not today, Satan. Uh, it's the weekend. I gotta chill. I gotta. I gotta like. <laughs> anyway, so get smart. Get smart, liberals, Democrats. Um, stop with the bullshit. Just stop with the bullshit, because it's bullshit. And it's stupid, and it's ridiculous, and you look absolutely crazy, and you're just not smart, including the president and his advisors, not smart. You're not, you're, you're too in the bubble of these, uh, of, of these cities, DC, and not, New York City, DC, LA, it's not representative of the rest of the country. I live in suburbia, in Florida. Like I said, lifelong liberal progressive, 
I don't want this shit around my kid. I don't want it around my kid. I don't even want an inch with him. Okay. I don't even, I don't, and even though he's smart enough, I don't even want it. He's smart enough to know. And I know that and he knows that I don't want it even his parameter. Okay. So whew. yeah, I just can't, I just can't. So I'm going to enjoy my weekend. I hope everybody does the same.